And here we go! Hello everybody, it's me Lucas, welcome back to the stream. I hope y'all had a killer weekend. I went to the beach yesterday. Last little bit of sun, felt good. I read some film production book uh, and it was making me feel inspired about things and stuff. So I hope y'all had an inspiring weekend. Um, other than that, kind of just chilled out, played Wingspan for the first time. I don't know if y'all played Wingspan. It's a board game where you keep an aviary and you get your birds and you manage your birds and stuff. And it was really fun. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Got to pull up chat here. There it is. Um, but yeah, it was great. And I'm on a high right now because uh, we just got the final photos from our wedding. It's like so many great shots and just validates all of the hard work and effort we put into it. It's kind of like when you're there, you can't really appreciate the wedding that you've worked on. But then when you get the photos, it's like, ah, yes, all of those things were there. I just didn't really see them on my own. So anyways, super happy about that. I was late to the stream because I was busy making my Instagram post. Today is one month, one month as a married man. I don't know how to show this correctly. It's so new, so different. Oh, yeah. Um, few stream updates. I'm gonna skip this Wednesday. There's an event at work happening at night, so I'm gonna go out with Katie and do that. Um, so to compensate, the following week, uh, I will start with Baldur's Gate on Monday and then do Starfield on Wednesday. Um, also, just been feeling generally a little bit lower on Starfield, maybe just because I did like a bunch of pointless side quests last time, so it wasn't as fun of a gaming session as maybe I wanted it to be. Um, so I'm gonna do some main quests, but I may taper off with Starfield at a point and just like go back into Baldur's Gate, because even though it's hard, uh, I just feel like it's filled with good stuff, Baldur's Gate 3, and I really want to maybe dedicate time to that. So, I may put a pause on Starfield at some point, and go do go back to two days a week with Baldur's Gate. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, what else? Yeah, that's, that's about it, I think. Katie's birthday's coming up. We've got some friends visiting soon, so life's generally good. I hope everyone's having a good good time at it um let's get let's get to some games i think <clears throat> um oh yeah i am gonna take a short dinner break also also i think i'm gonna push stream starts to eight o'clock I think I've generally been hitting 8 p.m. more recently, and uh, it's just hard when I, I finish work at 7 to, like, start streaming at 7.30 and eat dinner. So I think that's the plan. Mm. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know that would happen. Uh, I haven't played in a minute. Been a long time since I've been to Mars. Soul system doesn't get a lot of traffic. Not at all. I already talked to her. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Let's land on Mars. Mech factory. Oh, 
Oh. Interesting. High resources. Set landing target. There, there it is. Word I couldn't land from not the spaceship menu. Interesting. Watch the uh, Qatar Grand Prix over the weekend. What a crazy race that was. Hey, look at my black, sh my black ship. Jet black, like my soul. I just gotta exit my storm. I'm assuming I need to put my spacesuit on. Go ahead and do that. I'm assuming Mars is not breathable. Uh, equipment? Inventory. You always take me to the nicest places. Captain Lucas. Yes. I require my assistance. Captain Lucas, it is pleasant to see you. Farewell. Nice. Sidonia. Katie's making chicken piccata, which I will enjoy in a little bit here. It's cool. I think maybe my problem was I was going for too much hard realism with the game. But I think I just gotta, you know, go go at it at a normal gamer pace. Sense. Oh yeah, we're investigating an artifact, I think. The music's great. I guess we don't need our suits here. Speak with Trevor. I'm sure isn't. Ah, damn it. It's depressing. I'm sure there's an easy way to take this on and off. Here's the yeah, got cold beers and good yeah, atmosphere. As far as the eye can see, you could ask for it. can start to What's your poison? A beer teeny? <laughs> Jack. Ah, what a lie. Been around. One 
off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. I can see. I mean, it's not that hard to understand what that is. Space isn't kind to the loss. He's in trouble. More worse. Sounds about right. Yeah. This man does not look old enough. Nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially when it's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but if I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? It's... I admit you're lying. He could need help. You shouldn't put a price on that. Come on. Life on Sedonia ain't hard enough. You couldn't guilt trip me. Um, why don't you imagine him out there, alone? And here you are, holding out for Crash. For more of... Just tell me, and I'll get out of your hair. Why don't you imagine him out there, alone? And here you are, holding out for Cash. I want him, bam. I do. Alright, I'll give up. Nice! Just trying to earn a living here. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. Just singing songs. Venus. That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do. Gotta go to Venus. To Venus? Bye. Yes. Hey there. Oh, you look like someone I want to talk to. Oh, hello there, friend. Have you been there long? Uh, just got here. Oh, good. I thought maybe I had fallen asleep. You are clearly awake. But, oh my, I forgot. My I parents. want you on my crew. Phil Hill at your service. Please. Yes, it rhymes. My parents had a thing about rhyming. My siblings are named Phil, Jill, and Sill. The Hills. <laughs> what a thrill. But there I go again. You aren't here to talk about me. You're here to talk about List. Sounds like we're about to hear a sales pitch. Depends on what List we're talking about. You know, silly. List. The League of Independent Settlers? Do I detect a glint of recognition in your eyes? I think so. Oh, God. How can I help make today your very best day? Um. Not interested. I'm looking for work. That's terrific, because I have a lot of work needing doing. This stack of papers here, these are just the most recent applicants looking for new worlds to settle on. Everywhere I go, people are really excited about the prospects of living a truly free life, living where and how they want to. Sounds, that appeals I've to me. A cargo hold full of stacks just like that. <laughs> Oh boy. That's not our problem. Oh, of course not. I, I wouldn't make you do my paperwork for me. Although, I, w I wouldn't mind the help. There's that many people who want to live the life of a colonist? Oh, that's just a few applications worth. That's what the human touch looks like. No impersonal computer surveys or security breaches to compromise your private information. Just me and some good old fashioned ink and paper. Every applicant gets a battery of in-person interviews and has every step of their application completed and carefully reviewed to ensure their particular requirements for the ideal location are understood and met to perfection. Jeez. Try getting that from the UC or Freestar resettlement programs. Um, uh, not a huge fan of paperwork myself. <laughs> not to worry. The mountains of papers are my responsibility. Nice. We're looking for folks with ships and or basic people skills to seek out suitable planets and leads on potential clients. 
I could do that. I don't suppose you possess either of those qualifications. I'd say I'm a person, people person. Yeah, you're in luck. I have both the ship and basic people skills. You know, I can tell that you do just by the little we've interacted already. Most importantly, we need to collect data on habitable planets. The more habitable, the better. <laughs> you know, that oxygen and water are musts. Other signs of life, even better. Secondly, we're always looking for new applicants. So, as you travel around meeting people, when the occasion arises, see if you can interest them in signing up for the list. I'm pretty sure I overheard some people in here talking about wanting to start a new life. Why don't you start with them? How does payment work? Bring any suitable planet survey data slates to me, and I'll happily pay you for them. Oh, shit. And you'll also earn an immediate commission for each interested party who signs up for the list. So Is this a multi-level marketing, marketing scheme? Truly independent nah, I feel like I'm helping people. Through, and turn a few credits while you're at it. <laughs> Bear, what's up? It's good to see you. How was your weekend? I am glad you asked. List provides members with a few tangible benefits and a few intangible ones. First off, we locate an ideal location matching the needs and desires of our members. After that, we provide transportation as well as a starter set, including basic hab modules, extractors, and seeds for farming, etc. Everything needed to get off to a good start. Then we set up a small encrypted satellite to aid communication between distant neighbors and the rare list ship that swings by the sector to offer aid and trade supplies if desired. But more importantly, list provides its it's a great weekend. What'd you do? Living on their own and on their own terms, independent and free from harassment and governmental interference. I'll see what I can do. Excellent. Thank you for any assistance you can lend us. Whoops, <laughs> nearly forgot. <laughs> Take this. I checked out my great wedding photos. I did. It was great. This life ain't easy. Mars isn't for everybody, is it? Huh. Mars is right with resources, which means there's always going to be plenty of work. Who is this person that wants to leave? Hey there. We have the tech to instantly jump across the universe. I was dog sitting at a goofy doggo. Made me lol. Nice. What what made him so goofy? Can't talk right now. Sorry. Pilot. It's the same damn thing, day in, day out. Pardon? There's something you need? Us. Oh, Couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Okay. League of Independent Settlers wants to help you start a new life, free from all your troubles. Yeah? Right? I've heard this all before. You can use to change the scenery. People who sign up are cut above the rest. You deserve to be on the list. Trust me, I know what it's like. I'm here to help. I am starting to believe that. Thanks. I was being silly in his manner, a bit clumsy and nice, walking into walls, licking people's faces. Homesteader is hard, but it's worth it. Lose flash, all lives are hard. I have one turn. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that. Uh, but anything is possible. We just have to want it hard enough to fight for it. You will sign up for. So these are the same difficulty. The ah. only thing I want is for you to wrap this up. Or yeah, <laughs> there might be a fight. Okay, we... This isn't for me. Sorry. Good try, though. Damn. Sorry to bother you. Keep fighting. Look, just signing up for mailing list and initial here. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna bribe you to do that. Sure, no problem. We'll try again somewhere else. Take care of your ship. You get enough ghosts to leave on the way. Yes? Already told you, this isn't for me. Oh, I'm gonna let uh Phil Hill know I failed. Hey. Sorry, oh, Phil. Hello there. I completely forgot. Yes, of course. We have an amazing pamphlet called Top of the List, which is... He'd bark at a lamp, then run away when I turned it on. <laughs> Dogs are so, so silly. I'm afraid there's a small fee to cover printing expenses. But your commission will more than make up for that, I can assure you. My pleasure. Nice. Stop it, you! Not while I'm on the clock, anyway. Though I'm, I'm always on the clock. Thanks, anyway, though. You're too kind. Oh, well, I guess I'm a dreamer. Always have been. My head in the nebula, as my dad would say. But I'm, I'm not cut out for the independent life. Not really. But I want to be a part of all this, so here I am, helping people achieve their dreams, doing my part to make the universe a better place. Maybe with a smidge of living vicariously through the people I meet doing this. Okay. Like yourself. I like to imagine I've somehow become a, a small part of your adventures. Oh, sure, certainly. Bring me suitable planetary data scans for planets and moons that have O2 atoms. The more habitable, the more... And you'll earn an immediate commission for anyone you sign up to the list. Keep your ears open for people who sound like they need a change of pace or a fresh start. Bars are usually... That's why I hang out in them. <laughs> okay. Take it easy. Well, this is oh, there's Sarah. Andromeda Kepler? Hello, Traveler. Will you join me for a while? You strike me as someone with an interesting story. Call it Scholar's Intuition. Oh, she's a... Sure, let's Meeting talk. a kindly stranger is always a blessing. What brings you to Sidonia? Um, looking... For people to join my queue to... To pay her, though. Sightseeing on Mars. My intuition about you... Sounds like a call. The list? Most Let me tell you about the list. We will provide you with here. everything you need to know and live on your own in a very great place. Be your own boss. I don't know where I'm going now with, that, with that. So, I just going to stop. It's going to be a philosophical text about my theories on the intersection between science and the divine. I've been studying that relationship for years, and I want to preserve my findings for future scholars. I appreciate the sentiment. Consider my interest piqued. I'd be happy to join you. I have a feeling this will be a fruitful partnership. That was easy. Are you willing to pay? I dislike taking money from friends, but I'll need some credits to stow my ship at Sidonia's Hello. spaceport. Hello. I'll work to make it up to you now. Good. Bear's hanging out. Nice. Hi, Bear. Um, Barrel. Barrel. Okay, you're ready in like 10 minutes. Okay, this sounds good. Okay. <laughs> he said, it smells good. <laughs> Bear says he misses the Lucas YouTube video. Uh, where I think, well, the one where I said I'm funny. I'm not funny. I don't know if you remember that one. Is it a real it's a video. It's like a vlog parody. Oh my gosh, I don't remember. Uh, it's from a long time ago. I remember the one where you were like, you were like counting something. You had like tallies in the back. No, not that one. <laughs> he says me. hello there, wife. She, she's not your wife, Bear. You can't call her that. <laughs> wife of Lucas. Yeah, there you go. Lucas has a cool wife. Fate willing, our paths <laughs> I do. Again can can agree. That's sweet of you guys. Alright, well, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay.
18,000 credits. Coordinating corporate efforts between the star yard and here. If you notice any of the miners exhibiting worrisome behavior, feel free to let me know about it. Hello there. Do I know you? No. No, I'm just striking up a conversation. Oh, I see. Two times the cool in that well, couple. Oh, thank you. I'm Leona Hawks, Deimos Star Yard's corporate liaison. Anyone who deals with our office likely deals with me at some point. I suppose I'll be seeing you around. What's Deimos Star Yard's relationship with the UC? We've been with the UC for decades to provide military-focused crafts for the entire fleet. It makes sense that they trust us, as Deimos is the oldest standing ship manufacturer in the settled systems. We were responsible for some of the major advancements in grav drive technology since the early days of its existence, so our legacy is strong. I coordinate between Deimos Corporate and the other operations, such as the Star Yard itself, and the mining operations here on Sidonia. Okay. Deimos Star Yards Corporation is a complex entity, given that the different divisions have different goals and priorities. My job is to make sure those are all in alignment. Bye then. Worker satisfaction has been trending upwards recently. I haven't Taking had a day off in three years. Because I wrote the damn time off policy. But at least I've got more than enough work to complete before I can go home. Go me. Another long day. I guess I can't talk to you. Okay. Well, did some cool stuff. I sure hope this hearing loss isn't permanent. How's it going? <laughs> Booth. The community center on P1 is a good place to connect with others or fulfill any spiritual needs you may have. Well, let's go to Venus. Oh, shit. I didn't put my spacesuit on. It's not good. We're good now. Just popped it on real quick. You meant to type what wife of Lucas? Nice. Oh my god, it's dark already. Wonder what's going on over there. Music's great. Whoa! Nice. Super cool. Wow! Hi, Vasco. What's good? You know, I really wanted to design my own ship, but, you know, this is nice for now. And we can add... I just want, like, it to be bigger. your crew position only one point of moa talk to you later uh ship crew unassigned yeah i definitely want to make outposts Snacking on baby cut carrots. Dad joke. Oh, yeah. I don't have any dad jokes for you. Um. What's brown and sticky? 
a stick. Isn't that a good one? Um, set course for Venus. Did you like that one, Bear? Stay in orbit. Jump. Oh, cool. All right. Oh, who are you? Me who rolled in honey is the answer. Ugh. Are you brown? Is Honey brown or? I want to talk to you. Venus. All right. I'm gonna travel to Venus. Power up the grab drive, and let's engage. Well, I guess I didn't need to jump for that. Bears are brown. You are so right. How could I be so foolish? Hello, what do we have here? See that cluster of ships? The rune zealots. You ever run into one? <laughs> Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent. The devourer of the unbelievers. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. Oh. I doubt they know where Vanguard is. But I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our Vanguard was heading to next. Here did that beacon without being attacked. Sounds good to me. Ship system power to avoid detection. Select buffs and the shields are easier to detect. For maximum stealth, power down all systems except for two bars in your engines. Stay as far away from the enemy as you can. Okay. Alright, we can do this. So bear, I was talking about it. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna change my start time to eight o'clock. Cause it's just so hard to finish work at seven and then start streaming at eight and eat. So I feel like I've definitely been hitting the eight o'clock mark more often, if not a little bit later than eight. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try it out. Also, I changed. I I was thinking of maybe just doing Baldur's Gate for a little bit, but I really do like Starfield quite a bit. I think I just needed to like, you know, the game's telling me to go down a path. I need, I need to go down that path a little bit. Kind of like what Peter was saying on his stream. Before I can go off and do my own thing. I think we're doing okay here. Almost there. Lost in space. But I, um, I'm also going to be skipping Wednesday this week. We're going to go out to a work event. Um, so I'll be back on Monday with some Baldur's Gate. Or 
hurts, man. Set course from the moon. Uh, Earth was abandoned. Let's go. Talk to Sarah. Oh, there it is. Nova Galactic Star Yard. Still orbiting Earth's moon. Did I ever hear the show Bradzilla's? Yes. Yes, I have. I want to walk on the moon. What happened to Earth anyway? Oh, it's all ancient history now, but the Earth lost You're watching that today on YouTube. I have a funny story about Brad Silva's. I'll tell it after this. See if Vanguard Moore is in that star here. Never know who else might be scavenging there. Most star stations and ships can be docked with allowing you to board them. You'll need to select the ship in your HUD and then fly close enough so that the dock. Um, so my funny story is that when I was in when I graduated high school, like just graduated. There was a video, uh, video, uh, videographer store place in my hometown. I, I can't even remember what it was called. Um, but I was looking for work as an editor and they always were taking editors to like help edit wedding videos. And so I had a meeting with the guy and he was like, yeah, do you ever see the show Bridezilla's? I kind of want to make a reality TV show like that, but with the footage that I get. And I'm like, oh, okay. Red flags kind of got raised for me there. But I was like, you know, I just want to like take the pay, the paycheck. Um, and I left and then I told him, yeah, you know, I'll be, I'll be um, home most of the summer. I just have to go to Virginia for a couple of weeks because I'll be working at a summer camp and he was like oh no no that won't work i'm like well, okay i mean it's only two weeks out of the entire three to six months or whatever that i could work for you and then he just ghosted me never called me back um and i would pass that place and I'd just be like fuck you man wouldn't give me a job even though i would have been great at it anyways we're going to the star station Really cool. Look at those solar panels. They really did put a lot of cool space shit in this game. Right, here's the dock. Definitely want to use my spaceship a lot more and just explore the shit out of everything. It's dark. 
You do so much enjoy a great story time. I'm glad you do. I enjoy telling the stories. Sometimes it just takes me a bit to think of one, you know? We still need to find any sign of Vanguard Moara. Keep your eyes open. Time to go? Yes. Um, 67% star map. Uh, here we go. Let's put on my space suit. And Docky Docky Dock. Oh, that doesn't look good. Hide. Who steps in? Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results. Looks like spacers were scavenging around here and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this might be your last encounter with the space crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. I'd really love it if you two didn't talk over each other. Let's see. Reminder, infinity. Can I go to Earth in this game? You probably can. I could check it out. I'm in the soul system. It's not like there's some gunfights over there. But his helmet is better than the one I have. Oh, here we go. Hackers. Maybe not. Uh, less physical damage, more energy, more emissions. Minus 15% damage from alien enemies. I guess I've got a pretty good helmet. Uh oh, the it's building up here. Got him. The robot has gone rude. Sneezes in Spanish. What are you talking about over there, bear?
almost out of ammo here. I am out of ammo, Berserker Coachman. How much ammo do I have? 45. Forget how to heal. There it is. I'm going to end you. It's a bunch of people here. Did you knock? It's ready. Yes. It okay. Is. I'll be right there. We will have some poop. Randomly bear wolf. We love your randomness here. Food is important. Yes, I am quite hungry. See what? What? What happened there? I don't understand. Oh, the ones that you fill. I see. I see now. I see, I understand. I get it. I get it now. It's inner time to the song closing time. Yes, yes. Arm oh, relay, nice. Okay. I do. I'm going to eat. So I'll be back in like 10 15 minutes. Bear, if you're sleeping by the time we get back, thanks for hanging out. But. When we get back, we'll, you know, we'll play for a little bit more, a little bit more, another hour or so. Yeah. Be right back. I don't have a be right back screen anymore, so. I'll just leave it like that. I guess I can go back to this. Cool. Cool.
Hello! Oh, you want the Doctor Who pass? I can get that. I can get that. Oh! Where's my camera? There it is. Doctor Who pass. Come right up. I'm back. Surprise, you're still awake, Bear. Do I need to go to sleep at some point? Oh. Welcome back, thank you. Dinner was great. Katie made a lemon... A chicken... Lemon bagata, chicken bagata. From behind? <laughs> no, I kind of have to do that. What is sleep? Sleep is when you go to bed at night. Throw a frag grenade. How do I frag it up? Jesus. Get out of my way. Combat's pretty fast. Safe fezzes are cool. I mean, they are. As Matt Smith would say. Speaking of, new Doctor Who coming next month. Can you believe it? That's uh, not explodable. You're level 12. Nice. Hello! I got here just before you left. Wall. I'll be on for a little bit. Got another hour or so. Next month is going to be awesome. How do you like watching the same game over and over again, Garbage Dad? Feeling a little bit of deja vu? Because I am. Because I'm watching Peter's stream too. I definitely don't pick up nearly as much shit as he does. I talked to Phil Hill, what a great guy. I'm definitely 
recruiting people for the list. I don't care what anyone says. I think I beat the boss. Was expecting myself to forget to check back for a couple hours, only to find the stream over. So I am very impressed with myself. I am impressed with you as well. Thanks for hanging out. Um, Bear Wolf redeemed the Fez, so we were talking about Doctor Who. Go to Neptune. Much better odds destroying one of their ships than fighting them all at once. TBH, it's refreshing to watch someone not pick every available piece of junk. Yeah. Peter's got a hoarding problem. But we love him for it. My full wedding album just dropped. So I'm very excited about that. I was talking to Bear Wolf about it. My shirt is on the ironing board. My shirt on the ironing board is also impressed. What are you doing? What are you doing ironing your shirts? You got a you got a date? A date with destiny? It looks like we have to leave. far away. <laughs> as long as you don't leave the iron on it, you should be okay. Very good advice. Oh, I am encumbered. Now I've picked up too many things. heaviest thing. Uh, definitely don't need that. Or this. Or that. Or that. This is worth 25. This is worth 140 credits. Okay. Time to leave. I'm still encumbered? Or I'll record a whole album for your wedding? No, 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 not, not that kind of album. We record, uh, it's a photo album. The the photographers finished editing all the photos, so we got them all today. Uh, so we were excited about that. I'm still encumbered? How encumbered am I? 137. So I don't need two. This one's better, so I'm gonna do that. Great. Beautiful. That should do it. That there should do the trick. Synergy. Puns are strong with garbage, Dad. Oh, was it a... I guess you were punning. I fell for a pun.
Ecliptic Mercenaries. Med packs seem good. Sparkling water. Coffee mug. System error. Right, we're looking for the stairs. Here we go. Work room. I feel like there were still some mercenaries that didn't end up crossing. Oh. This is not the way out, I don't think. I was just here. <laughs> it was equally possible, but I was very confused. I thought I thought there was confusion. I sense confusion in your words. Oh, can't I? There. This is the way. Dead. I guess it highlights things you can pick up. Toilet paper tube. Plunger. Need to do some plunging? Seems important. Some books. Bad people, bad jokes. Who's there? Varun, Varun, who? Varun, Varun, listen to that engine! An alien spider beast walks into a bar and a Keel City bartender asks, What's your poison? Get it. Get it. Because it's a spider. Why did the Crimson Fleet Pirate go to an Enhance clinic? He wanted more booty. Ugh. So bad. Knock, knock. Who's there? Neon, neon who? You put one knee on the floor to genuflect. Two knees to kneel. What? <laughs> you hear the one about the Freestar Ranger who couldn't get into the conference? He forgot his badge. Louis Looper's Bad People, Bad Jokes has garnered something of a cult following in cell systems. It's particularly popular among the criminal element in the major cities. Crimson Cabin. Oh. Who's this guy? Plushy Parsh. I had to pick him up. He looked so cute. Newton's Cradle. That's the case. Oh. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Humidifier. Neon gang culture. Oh, no, this time it was a an on-purpose joke. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> we have gone back and forth now. Quite a bit. Oh, fire extinguisher. But it was always a pun. Bear's going to bed. Sleepy time. Have a good rest, bear. Garbage Dad, did you do anything exciting this weekend? I was telling Bear that I went to the beach. So it was hot this weekend, so it's maybe one of the last be good beach days we'll have. I'm not supposed to go out here. Cycled air. Just isn't the same as the real thing. Lock is too difficult to pick. Utility flight suit. Because I can't equip it. Tissues. Soba. I am now. Hello. Alright, let's 
let's transfer some of this stuff off of me. Hey, we can pick it up. Bad people, bad jokes. Alright, where do I got some space here? I'll just put it on my bed. Or I'll, I'll put it... Put it on top here. That didn't do anything. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, I just should drop some stuff. Um, I want to put it in my ship. Uh, okay, maybe I need to do this. Cargo hole, yeah. Okay, here it is. Helmet. Um. Wanna throw this bad boy in there. Store. Great. Apparel. Actually, actually want to keep that stuff, actually. Right? Cargo hold. Um, yeah, we want to grab these back. We're looking at that. This recruiter guard. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, we are heading to Neptune. It's still beach weather there. It hasn't been, but uh, it got we got a little heat, a little heat. It's definitely getting a lot colder, colder though. Um, surprise! It's finally cooling down here. Oh yes, good old Arizona. Where in Arizona are you, by the way? Are you in Phoenix? Still working on learning crochet. It's so cool! I'm I'm so bad at all that stuff. Did bake some brownies technically inspired by you talking about Katie's brownies. Oh yeah? Katie's brownies. Exquisite. I've been enjoying them. She made more with M&Ms and peanut butter chocolate chip things. And it's just so good. They're very light. And they're not too sweet. So that's like the... I, I hate it when things are too sweet. Which is like... Well, that's what my mother says. So Good old mom. Uh, oh, yeah. We are putting this. Oh, whoops. Ah, uh, yes, I need to take this off. Hide spacesuit in settlements. Clamps released. All right, it's probably. Nice. 
the part of Arizona, all the way over in Las Cruces, New Mexico. So is that like north of the state? South of the state? I know it's on the the east touching New Mexico. This. Most officer ships can be boarded once the ship's engines are down. You must fight close to the ship before you be allowed to dock. I just fucking went straight into that. Not too sweet baked goods are the best. Surprisingly, hard to find recipes for and perfect. It is very easy, I feel, to put too much sugar into things. Zero rounds. this fucking ship. <clears throat> I use it's cool though because I hate this place law. I hate in Arizona slash New Mexico. It seems like it would be nice but I really don't know a lot about it so put my gun away when I do this. I see. Also, never lived there, so wouldn't necessarily know. Fermented milk. Where's everybody? This is the bathroom. Toilet. I'm missing something. Doesn't seem like there's anyone on this ship. Have to go up more. Oh. Throw grenades. I 
How to throw grenades in... How to throw grenades. <laughs> uh, starf. Clearly other people. You'll want to first open the inventory, navigate to throw, we'll select the explosive you wish. I guess I've equipped it now. Uh... Yes, okay. Once equipped, turn in the game, aim your crosshair where you want to throw your explosive throwables. Or RB on Xbox. out of commission. Can I assign things to these slots? Like guns, maybe? Let's see what. Um, uh, favorite. There it is. Nice. So now I can do awesome. Oh yeah, I can't use that one yet. Beautiful. Um, this town makes Shelter seem like a hip happening city with lots to do. That is horrifying. Modify your grandpa. I have been back many times to Chelmsford. I just drove drove through it uh this past summer when I was there, uh right before my batch party. You know I try to get back. And yeah, there's just nothing. Nothing to do. Oh, there's Mora. Hello. How you doing? Uh, am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from. Oh, me. I'm sorry for your situation, friend. I hope you can exit soon, if that is what you wish to do. Um, breaching a hostile ship and saving lives? My kind of party. Oh, I know that kind of talk. You two Marines? No. Constellation, actually. What? Seriously? Man, I've heard stories, but I had no idea you all were this dangerous. We've heard stories, too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is? I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? Ha! Huh. You were on a patrol for a long time. People were worried. Oh, that. Yeah, I mean, it's been a mess lately. Spacers, maroon zealots, plus Ecliptic tracking me down. We ran into a few members of Ecliptic at the Nova Galactic Star Yard. I'm guessing they were after you. Ah, damn. A 
That's probably how they found me. I knew taunting the spacers to meet me at Neptune was a long shot. Making rookie mistakes. I've been chasing shadows around the solar system for years. And every time I go back to Mars... Zedonia is waiting for you. Run down. Forgotten. Feels like everyone's given up, you know? I've just been spending more and more time in the star field. Sometimes I wonder if I'm really going back. Here's more proof. Seems like the soul system needs you. Yeah, sure does. Guess someone needs to be out there keeping the old neighborhood safe. Ah, uh, the old neighborhood. We should grab a beer sometime. Okay. If you don't mind, we came here for something. That strange object you found. Right. Hey, it's yours. Appreciate the rescue. Hey, thanks. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the artifact. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. Thanks again for the rescue. Don't know what I would have done if you hadn't jumped in. See, this is the kind of ship I want. Big, lots of space, lots of room for crew. Assuming all the tools are gonna be important. Might as well take what we can. Bitten sandwich. I think he uh it's also the type that Peter wants, but just so he has more space for junk. I love it. He's just gonna be space hoarder. Supreme. He remaxed the ship's capacity last session. <laughs> nice. So he can put even more junk in it. Junk man Peter. I like it. It rolls off the tongue. Where is... Not put quest items in your inventory. See, these are both assigned. But I can't do anything with them. Alright. Let's get the. Plot of course back to Alpha Centauri, right? Is that where we need to go? May we explore, go to Earth. Nova Galactic Star Yard. I mean, I'm sure quests will lead me back here. Scan is unavailable. Oh, it's just nothing nowhere to land either i guess you can go to the moon iron interesting okay gotcha well we're gonna keep going set course for alpha century
It's spooling up. Woo! Helium-3 is the standard fuel for grav drives. That's cool. I mean, the ship exploration is pretty neat. I guess you'll explore less on planets then? Hey, let me know if we're going to head into the well so I can watch your back. Stabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. It's like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Oh, nice. I expect a champagne. Well, if you ever find a relic bottle from Earth, we'll all be happy to share it. I have with gained you. self doubt. By the way, <laughs> how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. Sure, you can come with me. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. I work better alone. You got it, Sarah. Let's go back out together. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Sam Co has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Alright. We got some things to do. Hey, leveled up, maybe? Who's Samco? What's this expedition of his? Oh, that's right. He wasn't here when you first showed up. He should be back by now. I'll let him handle the introductions. If I steal his thunder, I'll never hear the end of it. We maintain a star station in orbit above us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Vladimir runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. How did you know there was an artifact on Victoria? You can thank Barrett for that, if he's still around to thank when this is all said and done. Honestly, he took this seriously before any of us. It was at his urging that we started doing deep space scans. I will admit, it was something of a shock to see Barrett taking anything seriously. Ooh. So, what should I do first? It's all important, but if you want a direction, I'd grab Barrett first. He's not just an old friend. He's been all over the settled systems. Alright, I mean, that sounds good to me. You can tell me about it anyway. His mind is always somewhere, but there's no arguing his knack for being in the right place at the wrong time. Oh, too bad he couldn't see the artifacts coming together. 
But knowing him, he'll be so excited when he gets a look, it won't occur to him that he's missed anything. Okay. So long. Let's level up. need one more i do like how they set up the rank or the leveling system like you can't go to the next one until you've done a certain amount of these theft astronomy do 20 percent more damage cool I have nothing in science. Should probably just increase grab jump range and jump drives by 15%. That'd be useful. Running rate and maneuverability. Nah, I'm grabbing that. Nice. I haven't talked to you as yet. As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind if you answered some. Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. These people are family. I hope it feels that way for you too. I was wondering about other types of exploration work besides the artifacts. Of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Constellation Mission Board. I seem to know a lot about these artifacts. Oh, gosh. No, I mean, that's that's flattering. But really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two. And the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know. And that means a lot of work ahead of us. Well, you've been working on all this. Well, Constellation's been around forever, more than 50 years now. Yeah, we only forever. We became aware of the artifacts recently. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses. And he was the one who got this all in motion. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. Well, right now, nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition. <clears throat> I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are. Right? Aliens. Sure. Speaking of, if you're going to be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. Okay. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. Yeah, There's a galaxy yeah. chock full of resources. The more data I have, the more thorough an analysis I can do. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. Mm. Okay, let's take a look. All the organic shit. There you go. Stay safe, okay? Oh, a boat. What's your story? Ask if you've got questions, speak up if you have ideas. We're all here for the same reason. Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Mateo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, 
an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. Brought you to Constellation. Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. Oh, fancy. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common. And I was invited to join Constellation. <laughs> what a story. Second one was on Kazal. Buried the same as the one you found. Oh, Kazal is what they were talking about in the first one. For years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Wow. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? Damn. Take care of yourself. Okay. Oh, well, I think we're gonna go get Barrett, right? I cannot wait to meet him. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. Little well, Mateus, sleeping cat. Yeah, he's a. It's a little weird. It's actually, the best way to make a first impression. I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. This does not bode well. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged. I remember this guy from uh, Peter's playthrough. And uh, you must be Samco, the Free Star Collector Whoa. expert. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila Moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Glad to see someone so young and interest taking no offense, but not sure I feel comfortable taking a kid into danger. Too late. Been there, done that. I've gained I self doubt. Think you could give this little lady the benefit of the doubt. You could be severely underestimating her capabilities. That's enough. Look, Cora goes where I go, but it's not like I'm dragging her into everything. Oh, that's I why I keep hearing <laughs> the guy and the little girl now, talking whenever talk Peter business. gets in his ship. Sarah, tell you about the expedition. Um. Sorry about before. I'm just surprised Kim's coming along. Don't worry about it. Just got off on the wrong foot. It happens. The three of us are heading to Aquila. What does the self-esteem and self-doubt do? Not coincidentally. I think that's because I'm an empath. Aquila City. We'll land in the city spaceports, but the frontiers are bold. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories, and I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing: artifact. I'm slinging in my bearings. Let's head out later. I guess it wouldn't hurt. We just got back from a supply run anyway. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna go. Uh, do Barrett first. I feel like I've been waiting my whole life for this. Hmm? I'll be right here. Cool. I'm gonna go. Retrieve waiting followers. I'm gonna go to the bar. See if I can recruit anybody. That your ship that landed not too long ago? Talk to the bartender at Viewport.
Speak with Trevor. I guess I failed recruiting someone for list. Feels bad. close enough to land wait you're not suggesting told them in two terra morph heaven so you said that i just want to find the hunter again that guy was cool my friend there she is how you doing I'm so excited to see Tony after work oh yeah I'm fine I'm just a little tired <laughs> like I said before I love my job but there can be a lot of hard tiring work my last Terracino's worn off I guess Really? That's so sweet. I really appreciate it. Nice. I have to keep my energy up so New Atlantis can stay clean and tidy. Here, take this. I found it while I was cleaning. I figured you might find a use for it. So you Thanks just again. keep giving her really terrachinas and she gives you shit. Milk at it. She gave me milk. I can't complain. My boss told me yesterday that I'm one of the best janitors she's ever hired. Feels great to be appreciated. Come on, Donna Rand. Take care of yourself. I just want to recruit you to my spaceship. Raining. Look, she found while cleaning. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a good combination. Good to see you again. Can I get you something? Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? Uh, nah, I'm not new. I'm here all the time. <laughs> nope, sorry. Can't pull one over on me. I'm good with faces, and I don't recognize yours. Go ahead and make yourself comfortable, new guy. Damn. Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Business needs to be booming for you. Yep. Spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me, I've got something in the works that'll change everything. Oh, yeah. A new drink that'll make this place famous. Galaxy-wide. Whoa. You just need the ingredients. Ugh. I have to give this a try. You love it, I guarantee. Only, I can't make you one right now. Don't have the ingredients. I made a deal with the holler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. 
the kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Security mm. got wind, and the whole lot was bounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's All right, well, I mean, let me get this ingredient for you. Sounds like the sort of thing that could drive one to drink. Very clever of you. Your parents must be so proud. <laughs> and really, I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just, I think it is. I need to get my hands on that cargo. Let this go. Sure sounds like you need a helping hand. I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else, I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. I can do that. And if, hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way, well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. Sounds good to me. You, uh, with me on this? You got it. Who do I need to kill? I'm here for you. I'll do whatever I can. You have no idea what a relief this is. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. Sounds like a perfect opportunity for me to persuade someone. Do you have any information to go off of? A few things, but not much. Mm, that's the helpful. The cargo is being held down at the spaceport, not in the security office. Still, they use the same access cards. If you had one, it'd work. Mm -hmm. How or why you would have a UC security access card is none of my business, of course. I'm sure I'm better off not knowing. Beyond that, the ship decks over there might also be able to get in. I don't know any of them, or I'd be talking to them instead of you. Mm. No offense. What do you try already? Like I said, I submitted the usual security release forms. But because my cargo is tied up with a bunch of, again, totally unrelated illegal stuff, I don't expect the forms to matter. At all. I went and talked to an officer at the office, too. You, me. Sergeant, maybe? He was polite, but unhelpful. I declined to suggest that as our new slogan. <laughs> new Atlanta security. Polite, but unhelpful. Truth in advertising. Maybe I could talk to you, me. Don't worry. I'll figure something out. I'm not worried. I'm annoyed. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No, of course not. It'll be fine. Totally fine. I, I trust you. <laughs> See you around. Kind of in the middle of something here. Hey, if you're looking for a weapon specialist, I could really use the work to pay off some debts. I'm not asking for that much. Just my fair share. People cost a ton. You're hired. Then quit wasting my time. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Marika Boards. Phil Hill! Oh, hey there. How can I help? How'd you get here? See ya. How did you get all the way over here? Okay. I didn't Hello. mean to talk to you again. Hey, if you're looking for a weapon spec Yeah, I figured you'd say that. Well I want a new ship first, so I'm saving up for that before I can get some more crew. Mercantile. Can I get ammo here? I feel like I can't. Point two seven caliber. If it belongs on your sh oh, please take a. Thanks. 
Thanks. It's and I can't take all the credit. Gerhardt, my business partner, he does so much of the work behind the scenes. If it weren't for him, I don't know where we'd be now. Thanks for coming in. It's amazing what passes as art. I am not trying to test you, but I really do need that credit track. Indeed, I am. I've been an art dealer for most of my life, plying my trade all across the settled systems. It's actually why I'm here in New Atlantis today. I'll be delivering a piece of art to a very particular client later. However, I don't yet have the art in my possession. Actually, would you like to pick up the artwork and bring it back to me? I'll reward you for your effort, of course. Sure thing. What exactly does my help entail? You simply need to go pick up some artwork. The exchange has already been arranged and you won't have to show any credits. It's just a matter of picking something up and bringing it back to me. There's really no need to worry. It's all very simple. Oh, sure. Excellent. You'll be picking up the art from Zoe Kaminsky at the Trade Authority. Tell her you're there for Samson Jabrell's art. She'll understand. Return the artwork to me, and you will be compensated. Well, of course they do. Why wouldn't they? I've heard tell that you Who would do this? Impressive items at the Trade Authority. But for now, let's pick up pick up some art. I procured. Curtis. No, I'm only back I to it. <laughs> what a great way to get your art stolen. Do you need a visit to Alliance Magazine? Hilarious. Truly, you missed her calling as a comic. I remembered his name. It's Curtis. I do not want to do that. We we're gonna. Go talk to Yumi. That's security. I think security's over here. Yeah, let's go talk to Yumi first. about the job by any chance uh, the officer over there can help you with any bounty issues totally understand but if you're looking to make some credits and serve the united colonies at the same time you just let me know i'm good we got a friend who needs something from the storage at space i can't help you that's locked up for a reason if your friend files the proper paperwork we'll make sure that property is returned Assuming it's deemed legal, of course. You know how. Let me know if you have any questions. Everything good? We're here to help. Yeah? Ever wonder how the Crimson Fleet seems to be everywhere? It's because they have little outposts everywhere. There were so many facilities abandoned after the colony war, pirates used them as forward operating bases all over the settled systems. I'm just looking. Don't mind me. My script. I was looking for a security key. Someone might have uh, left lying around. Don't mind me. Like, hey, go pick up my sick new TV from the store. I already paid for it. I'm sure you won't steal it. You seem chill. Yeah, maybe I will uh, steal it. I mean, clearly I should have asked a little bit more about like why he needs someone to pick it up for him. This priceless work of art. Screwdriver. I can't pickpocket yet. I'm a neon street rat, though. I should be able to pickpocket. Hello. I desire no company. Leave. You seem interesting. I have nothing to say. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> oh. Okay, well, clearly this is not the right way to go. Let's go to the spaceport. Oops.
Do not enter a restricted area. I definitely need to live up to the scoundrel bit a little bit more. How much is the new ship, I wonder? Need, need some work done? I'm sure you can find something you'll... The Rambler. Crew 2. Crew is 4. Galileo. And it costs... 72... No, no, no. This costs... 12,000... 600... Oh, 126,000. Do not have that. Definitely don't have that yet. Crew three, responder. Some cool ships. Crew, yeah, I'm really just looking at crew size. This one has the most crew. And is also the most expensive. Or no, this one is. No, it's not. This one's four, yeah. Most crew are the most expensive for sure. But yeah, I got a, I got a ways to go. Okay, no problem. But I can't ship build it. Um. But I don't have any parts. Ah, okay. Bays, yes. Landing bay. Cargo. Ballast cargo. Cockpits. Docker. Engine. Habitats. Here we go. Yeah, I just want another one of these. Com companion way. All in one berth. I mean, it can make mine bigger. Engineering bay. How do I, like, turn it around? Loading bay. Two by one. Okay, we got a... All right, let's see if we can stack, stack on stack on stack, or or we'll do a little Millennium Falcon action right here, or maybe or maybe we'll do a we'll do one of these. So and then this is fun. I'm having a blast. I'm having a blast, guys. This is great. Dimos, Nova Galactic, all in one berth. I guess it's just different styles. <clears throat> This was uh, on top. Oh, yes. We can do rather than the center, we can do a side. Oh, 
I want you in the... Keep it there. Keep it there. This is so fun. Oh, 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 oh no, I did not mean to do that. Maybe I can add some more engines to you. Breaking engine. Hull. What's this thing? Stellar reactor. landing gear. Oh. oh well now that that works. Okay. That's probably, probably smart to put those up here. But I bet I could put more shit on top. I'm having a blast right now. Spine. Put things on. Not really sure what I'm looking for. Wing port. Engines. Oh, that's expensive. Nice. Go faster. Reactor. Equipment power 24. Yeah, and I guess I need another reactor. One error. Need more grab jump thrust. Okay. Because I have a bigger ship. Uh, color. All black. I'm very ready to fly this thing. I need to stop soon. I'm having too much fun. This is what I've been wanting to do this whole time. You just build a ship. Nice. Nice. Okay, I need... Grab drives. Ooh, these are expensive.
This part looks very overwhelming. It is. It definitely is. Multiple grab. Only one grab drive is allowed. Okay, so I need a bigger one. Um. Okay. Missing the grab drive. thrust. How much do I need? Get this one. Hey, that's enough. All systems normal. Um, I feel like I want another reactor. Fuel tank. Not have enough money. What do I do? Where's my reactor? Where's the reactor? Fourteen power. Fourteen. Put it on. I want to put it on top of this. Oh, I see. Multiple reactors. Only one reactor is left. Okay. Um. I can rename the ship too. Um, let's see, let us see, uh, I see, 14 power, where's the big one, 18 power, okay, let's delete you, and did I, did I just delete the grab thruster? I did. Whoops. <laughs> uh, grab drive. I got this one. And then I need to delete this bad boy in the back. This reactor, um, Reese Master add engines. Uh, I keep hitting the wrong thing. Reactors, reactors, there it is. Rename the ship the Lucas Mobile. Uh, no. Maybe I can't rename this one. Neon's Pride. Okay. Nice. It looks like a, a horrifying mess, but we love it. I feel like I could move. Here. Alright, 
This monstrosity. Landing here on the sides. That's no, okay. It's just a little big berth in it. Now, of course, this one ever. It needs to be on the outside edge of a ship. Hmm. Let me do that. has to be over here, okay. Alright, we're we're done with this. Sorry, that took a long time. Look at this. It's so much bigger now. <laughs> Love it. All right, let's let's do this, and then we're we're gonna go to bed. Hey, this really isn't a good place for civilians to be hanging around. There's something I can help you with. Um, got some. I got some car of those impounded. I need to access it. Yeah. I can't really just let you in there. I know there's a way to get past it. Here we can work something out. I hear you. You know, I really think I left the oven off and <laughs> two star systems over it. You think relative time means my house has burned down by now? I need you to let me through. It's important. Uh, you can just have anyone go through. I get it. it. Must be hard for you to say no all the time. What is it? The answer is still no. I'm sure there's a way we can both walk away happy. That's what I'm hoping. for you to say no all the time. I'm sure we can work something out. Can I just already use this? I'm not an unreasonable person, you know. All right, look, don't tell anyone I did this for you. Yes! If anyone asks, I had nothing to do with this. You got it? You got it. All right, make it quick, will you? Thank you. It's really not safe for civilians here. Thank you. Wow, look at my beautiful monstrosity. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna fast travel over there. We can't. That is.
is not possible. That's fine. Life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. Hey there, new guy. Hope life is treating you well. Let me know if I. Oh, no way. You really got it? I probably don't want to know what you did to get this, right? I mean, I want to know, but it's maybe better if I don't. Yeah, I just, uh. Hold him a favor. Oh, did you? Well. I know who to go to next time I need to renew my liquor license. <laughs> well, look, I can assure this will all be worth it in the end. Matter of fact, I'm going to let you have the first ever sample. Hell yeah. On top of that, you get free drinks. Not, not like unlimited free drinks. But you want a little pick-me-up now and then? I got you covered. Hell yeah. I need some time to work on what comes next. But this... This was the difficult part, I think. Really? Thank you so much. Catch you later. Nice. Oh, we're gonna do uh, Barrett next. Sarah. What can I help you with? Sure, I'm right behind you. I bet she thinks it was possibly shady, but you basically just said, please, pretty please, Mr. Nice Man, please, until they let you take it. I mean, I wasn't really persuading him. It was just like, hey, come on, we can we can see eye to eye here, can't we? Look at this beautiful ship. Got two whole new bays. Big Bertha. Neon's Pride. Apogee kick complete. Orbit steady. Nice. Oh yeah, I wanna look inside. the cockpit like it was before and this was here wow whoa okay navigation console
I can I can fit three crew. Nice. So this is the two by one. Um, and this is the three by one bay. Nice, so cool. I'm so happy. So I'm gonna hang out over here. Doesn't look like this door I can get through. Here's the other side of the ship. Which is a... Just... Okay, this is the original thing. This is Barrett's stuff. Barrett's spot. And Bear will hang out here. Great. So Sarah can hang out on that side. And I, and I can hang out... Is there a third bed? This is a bench. Okay, we can't all sleep at the same time. Um, but there's some seats. So the three by ones don't have beds, but the two by ones do. I wonder even if I uh, have an additional. Is this the bathroom? Well, gotta have space bathroom. Sick. Okay. Um. Navigation. We are going to back to Vectera. Set course. We're setting course for Vectera. Let's head on over there. It's a little like Baldur's Gate's camp, kind of, sort of. But you have more control. You can do whatever you want with it. Definitely want a bed for every crew member. Just, you know, always a logical thing that I can't get past. Okay. Is this a ship? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like that's not supposed to be happening. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Who are you? Can I talk to you? Whoops. No, I cannot. That's so funny. Okay, there's Vectera. We're gonna get... We're gonna end this here, Stream Rooney. Got my big old shit. Where's Vasco? Is he hangs out in the base. Kind of funny where they decide to put the the holes you can go between. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, next time we're gonna go get Barrett. We're right in front of Ectera here, so we'll go do that. Um, like I said before, I'm not gonna be back on. Uh, Wednesday. I'm going to be skipping Wednesday. Me and Katie are going to go out and do some fun things, fun activities, but I'll be back on Monday 
I'm going to be playing Baldur's Gate on Monday. So, there's that. Um, man, it wouldn't be a Bethesda game if stuff like that didn't happen. Oh, believe me. I know. It's still good, though. Uh, this game's super fun. I love ship building. I definitely want to keep exploring more things I can add to my ship. Um, hope everyone had fun. One stream this week, so I'll miss y'all. But Garbage Dad, thanks for hanging out. Barrel, thanks for chilling. It was a quaint little stream, I should say. Saving. Beautiful. Well, time to go to bed. Don't don't bother me. I'm going to sleep. Can I not shut the door? There's the door here. Where's the door? Oh, it's on the top. Sorry, I'm just running around naked over here. Okay. Don't disturb me. Gotta get my eight hours. Ugh. Good night.